Hi, so this video is, is to address a very common question that a lot of uh, recurrent miscarriage or miscarriage patients have uh, when they want to have a children. So there is this patient and she asked me this question. I feel like it's a very meaningful question and it can help a lot of uh, patients who are going through the similar uh, situation. So her situation is that she's have miscarried uh, multiple times and then she and her partner are now very desperate and they are trying to go for this IVF. They are trying to arrange an appointment. So they were asking some advice whether or not IVF is the correct choice because they have miscarried many times and they are desperate for children. And to answer her question, sadly, IVF will not help her in her journey to find a healthy pregnancy. Allow me to explain. As we all know, IVF is a very uh, uh, miraculous and a breakthrough uh, medical technology and has uh, gotten the Nobel Pri Medical Prize for its uh, innovation and how much it has helped infertile patients all over the world uh, getting children. But as we know, we are not supposed to mix a miscarriage patient and an infertility patient together. These two are completely separate uh, conditions. And nowadays, a lot of doctors, especially those who recommend IVF, uh, because IVF is a very uh, uh, profitable business, uh, most likely they will recommend it to anybody who is going through infertility, even miscarriage patients in this patient's situation. Uh, they can make a lot of money and uh, they don't really care whether how it affects the patients because uh, they don't really care of the outcome as long as they earn the money. So here I would like to clarify once more for all people in this condition. If you are a miscarriage patient, you have no trouble getting pregnant. IVF is used for people who have trouble getting pregnant. If you are a miscarriage patient or a recurrent miscarriage patient, the egg cells and the sperm cells of your partner are able to fuse into the uh, fertilized zygote and it is able to grow and implant onto your uh, uterus uh, inner wall and it can actually sustain itself. The, the biggest difference here is that you have an underlying organic disease that is causing the embryo or the fetus to experience stillbirth or miscarriage. Something's affecting its growth and development. So if you think about it in this way, how does IVF help you uh, solve this problem? Even if IVF has managed to make you pregnant, this pregnancy will end in a miscarriage or stillbirth because you're not dealing with the underlying condition. For example, if you have PCOS or adenomyosis, or if you have a septate uterus, IVF will do nothing to treat these conditions. These are the underlying causes that is causing a miscarriage or a stillbirth because either they are competing nutrients or blood flow or they are affecting the uh, hormonal balance during a pregnancy or you might even have an underlying immunity factor. This is what you need to do. You need to get treated for these conditions, not for IVF, not to get pregnant. Yes, IVF can get you pregnant, but if you don't deal with these underlying causes, it will be a waste of time, a waste of money, and also you will do some unnecessary damage to your ovaries. So I do understand your desperation and your pain that you are going through as a couple who is seeking to have a family. But I also do not want you to waste your time and money at unnecessary places. You should actually seek treatment from a specialist, uh, gynecologist, uh, institution. Get diagnosed for your underlying cause. You can do a systemic evaluation, a systemic checkup for your reproductive system or hormonal system and also your immunological uh, system to figure out is there anything that's uh, affecting why you cannot sustain the pregnancy. Check out all the checklists, figure out what is going on, treat that and I assure you, you can get pregnant. So for infertile patients, those people cannot even get pregnant at the first place. You are very fortunate that you can get pregnant. So your condition is much more uh, salvageable. You have a higher hope of getting a successful pregnancy compared to an infertile patient. So I urge you once more to get diagnosed for your underlying organic disease. There must be some f underlying factor that is affecting the growth and development of your pregnancy. Once you get that sorted, you can have a successful and healthy pregnancy.